Hey, what's up? Arvin here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to draw a cherry using free digital painting software called Krita. Let's get it. Hey, what's up? Arvin here. Welcome to Driven to Draw. Today we're going to be going through a demonstration on how to digitally paint a cherry. It is actually a part of my overall course from introduction to digital painting using Krita. So I hope you enjoy it and if you really want to learn more about digital painting, check out the video at the end and you'll get a little bit of a summary of what the course is all about. So with that, let's get started. All right, so now I got it. Now I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna reduce the opacity so it's not as dark. Cause I just want it as a construction line. So we can go to like 50%, that should be enough. And now I'm gonna go to my paint layer. Then I'm gonna go back to my brush presets. Basic flow opacity, let's give that one a shot. Okay, that looks, that's fine. All right, now the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna press the bracket keys to increase and decrease. That's my shortcut. Let me just move these two. Whoops. Back to brush. I'll fix that later. I've got the image that I imported and it's got that corner from the image, so it's looking a little funky. All right. So. All right. So we got this and then I'm going to go back and get a base color of a light green, a yellowish green. So I'm going to go in through around here. We'll try that. And we can adjust all this other stuff later. And I'm going to make this the same. And we notice that this is a darker green color here. So we're gonna go dark. Okay, so now we've got our base colors. These are just how I like it. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys some time to catch up. So this will be a good place to stop and take a break and I'll see you back in the next lesson. Okay, welcome back. We're gonna start sculpting here. And this is the process of now, we're gonna start identifying all these different shades here. So I'm going to go back to my brush presets. I'm gonna go back to selecting this basic opacity. Okay, so I'm going to choose, I know that this base color that I use, this is going to be darker. So I'm going to try this one and go a little bit more red, see what that does. Okay. Okay, so we got this. All right, so we got to do some more work through here. Make sure I'm in my paint layer. All right, I'm just going to try to create the shape that I'm seeing. So 
So here I just want to make sure there aren't any gaps and spots where you can see. So I'm going to borrow this red and I'm going to capture that red in here. And notice, you know, I'm going to go back with the color picker and I'm just going to keep blending things out. Going back and forth. So that blends in pretty good. Same thing here. You know, it's all a very tricky thing here with observation. You got to really learn how to observe the colors that you're seeing and how you're going to replicate them. Got this brown stem, the bottom of the stem here, so we'll put that in there. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom back so I can get an idea of how this looks from afar so we can get something that looks similar. All right, so let's just take a step back and just talk about what we're doing here. Uh, if you can look at the image right now you can see that all the areas where we're trying to describe form we've separated with different shades and assigned a, uh, assigned a kind of a shape to it and so in the next lesson we're gonna now get into learning how to create all these subtleties to make this three-dimensional image so that's it for this one I will see you in the next lesson I've got some exciting news. If you want to get into digital painting, I'll be launching my first course on digital painting for beginners. It's a comprehensive course that will help you get some incredible results using free digital painting software called Krita. I'll teach you the fundamentals of digital painting tools starting from the basics and help you work your way up to more advanced paintings. It would be an honor to have you join and it will help support this channel so I can continue to inspire you and help you improve your artistic abilities. So together, let's make some art.